welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about these gorgeous guys from Zoeva. These are part of the Growing Spectrum range. So we have a new contour spectrum palette. Just look at the packaging, it is stunning. It's um, quite futuristic looking. We have hologra hologram um, kind of finish there to the lighter lines. So it does change colors in the light. It is just gorgeous. The outside of the palettes have a gorgeous like I want to say like a rubbery suede feel or something. They're just really, really expensive feeling, um, despite being cardboard, which is like kind of the best of both worlds because they're quite lightweight. You can travel with them easy, but they feel amazing. And then we have the concealer spectrum. Just look at those, like just stunning. These are available on the Zoeva website at the moment. And I was gifted these from Mattel Flaherty Chemists in Galway because Mattel Flaherty Chemists on William Street in Galway is the only shop in all of Ireland currently selling Zoeva, which is absolutely amazing. Um, for any of us in Galway, which is great. Now this isn't a sponsored video. These were gifted to me because I will be doing an event with um, Matter Flaherty's and Zoeva on Thursday the 29th, and I've been in knows, on Thursday the 29th of this month. So I'm going to be demoing their products in store from 7 p.m. onwards. And there will be information about that on my Facebook page and on the Matter Flaherty Chemist's Facebook page as well. Um, it will be a ticketed event, but it's 10 euros redeemable against Zoeva products on the night. Um, and you do need to book in advance because there will be limited spots available. So um, there is information again on Facebook how to book your spot. It's going to be done through Eventbrite. Um, but I will be in store anyhow. Uh, if you go onto the Facebook page, you'll see this. I'll be in store there from about 2 p.m. onwards that day if anyone does want any individual consultations as well with the Zoeva products. Um, so now that that's out of the way, I am doing a kind of first impressions. I've tried one or two of the bits, but more or less a first impressions um, kind of demo review for you on these today. And everything I'm wearing pretty much for the foundation, um, the mascara and the eyebrows are in these palettes. Everything else is in these palettes. So um, yeah, have a look and see how they apply and what they look like. And um, I'll leave information about pricing in that below because I'm not 100% 100, 100% about the pricing um, in store yet. But yeah, I'll try and find that out and leave it below. So just keep watching if you wanna see how this is done. Okay, so I think we're sufficiently zoomed in. I'm gonna start off, of course, with the concealer palette. So this is called the Concealer Spectrum. Um, I just love how these feel. Anyhow, we have plenty of shades here to choose from. I'd say I'll be sticking to the top two rows, maybe the white for a bit of highlight. Although, I mean, you could get creative and use this on your lips if you're paler, like if you're fair to get more use out of it. So I've just totally cleaned my hands and um, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna start off with some of the yellow and pop that just underneath, um, like the darkest area underneath my eyes, suppose. And then this is where I have purple tones. So yellow will help counteract purple. So it's a really good brightening shade. Yeah, that's super brightening. And like these are quite emollient, but they're not greasy by any means. And it doesn't feel powdery. So I'd be more than happy to use this underneath my eyes. And then I'm just gonna move on to a brush and apply a little bit of this pink guy um, to the inner corner, just because I'm more blue in there. And I tend not to put yellow tones in there just because blue does, um, when you mix yellow with blue, it'll give kind of a greeny cast, which obviously isn't ideal. And then for, let's see, I'll probably go into this guy here, the top middle one, it is um, CC20 because it's neutral, like leaning maybe a little bit pink. I'm gonna pop that over the yellow as my concealer. So the yellow was kind of acting as a corrector and then this will be my brightener concealer. Yeah, and that's a really, really good shade. So I'm loving how these feel. Um, they're that perfect mix of emollient and creaminess kind of. Um, yeah, really like the texture of these. This actually kind of feels like a slightly less dry version of the MAC Pro Conceal. 
um, palette concealers or the studio finish, more or less the same thing. Um, not quite as heavy maybe, which is good for under the eye. Now, for the rest of my face, I think I'll go into, this seems to be more yellow, so this top rung, which is beside the pink corrector, seems to have slightly more yellow undertone, or yeah, pink undertones, and then this one, which is beside the yellow, has slightly more yellow undertones, so it's kind of easy um, to remember that. And I do always use a yellow toned concealer on my face, A to counteract any redness, and then B because I would be, or I do have a yellow undertone, even though I'm very, very fair. I love how that is sitting on the skin. So like my first impressions immediately is this is a really, really nice concealer. Yeah, it doesn't look powdery, sitting on the skin really, really nice. And of course, the fact that there's so many tones to choose from, this is amazing for light to medium skins. I'm gonna move on to the slightly deeper, still quite fair. I'd say this guy is a bit more like NC15 in MAC terms, um, for anyone who is familiar with that. And then this one would be veering towards the NC20. So similar enough in shade, but different enough. For my lids. I always, nearly always use um, concealer as my lid. I'm actually going to use this guy, the slightly more ochre deep colour on the moving part of my lid. You could of course use one of the lighter colours but I just want to see how this looks on. Because sometimes I don't like how when I do use concealer as my like lid primer, um, if I'm not wearing much on the lids I don't like it to be too too pale either. So it's actually nice to have a little bit of depth on it. And then I'll move to one of the paler shades then for my brow highlight. So handy having these in one palette. And again, I stick with the yellow tones for my um, lids just because there would be a little bit of redness popping through. I don't have any like major blemishes to speak of at the moment, but this seems to be covering any of those little marks from like old blemishes really, really well. And what I'll do is I will let you know down in the information below the video how well it wore or lasted throughout the evening. Okay, so now that our base is done, I'm going to move on to the Spectrum Contour or Contour Spectrum. Um, another really, really lovely palette, perfect for fair to medium skins. This shade I really enjoy, it's ashy enough to use on my own skin. Lovely highlight, the banana powder you could use under the eyes or all over as a light powder. And then this guy of course would be better for medium skin, but I can use this on my eyes. So let's just do that. I'm going to go into the banana powder or what's it called, the CN10. And lightly, if any, marks first um just lightly dot that over or press that over the concealer i think that does yellow it up a little bit so maybe i wouldn't use this all over my own skin just because obviously being so fair might be a bit too yellow but this would be great for anyone who has a slightly deeper skin tone who likes to um Add a little bit of a yellow powder, maybe if you have like redness in your skin you want to tone down or if you are quite sallow anyhow and you just want to match the rest of your, oops, if you just want to match the rest of your skin. I'm going to go into the highlight which is called CN30. Assume CN stands for contour maybe. And then the CC numbers in the concealer, probably stand for concealer or maybe concealer corrector. So anyhow, highlight up here. Um, that highlight has a lovely gold reflection to it. It looks like it would be straight on white here, but it actually goes on quite gold. I pop a little bit of that there onto my inner corners as well. Now you can see there it's got quite a gold reflection. It's really, really pretty. Tiny bit onto my lids. Oh yeah, that's really, really pretty. I actually really like how those shades turned out with um, 
concealer behind it and everything. Okay, um, yeah, like I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use my other powders to set that, like I said, just so that it doesn't look too yellow on my own skin. Okay, I have my face powdered now. I'm gonna start off with the highlight. So I'm just gonna pop into this baby there onto my cheekbones, and I love that tone. Um, probably look a little bit like more, not look more natural, but it'd be more suited to slightly deeper skin tones. Um, Or it might not kind of stand out so obviously yellow against, but it's just obviously because I'm so fair. But I do love that. I'd probably go for something a little bit more neutral though, um, usually. But I do enjoy a good golden highlight. Um, and then, a little bit on my cheek as well. Like, this is a contender for the Mary Lou, definitely. Especially in. in um, tone. So let's move on now to CN40, which is the lovely ashy tone. Contour, of course. And then I'm using the Real Techniques um, contour brush. I usually use my Zoeva highlight brush, which is what I use in every other video. They just happen to be dirty. <laughs> all three of them. So that's why I'm using this, but it's a very similar shape. But I would usually use my Zoeva contour, or highlight brush for this. Then using my beloved Lux Crease by Zoeva. This is what I use nearly all the time for my nose highlight. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that as well. And then, not highlight, I always say highlight when I mean to say contour, my nose contour. Um, Draw that either side of my nose. And then, waste not, want not, we're going to use our CN020 or CN20 um, as eye contour. So, like, you really can utilize pretty much every shade in this, even if you're not maybe quite pale enough or dark enough for everything, you can just um, use them for different uses. I really love the autumnal shades actually, the tones that are coming through. Um, but like this is how I always do my eyes lately because it's just handy if I don't feel like doing a full on eyeshadow look, I just um, use my like, contour shades. I feel like this would be really good for people as well who wear tan, so who are maybe quite fair naturally and they sometimes just go by their natural colour and then when they tan up they could go for this darker shade for um, contour. So it's actually great for anyone who does kind of change their skin tone like that. Um, wasn't it, what did I say? Yes, I'm going to try that darkest concealer as a lip colour just for the heck of it. Um, so that's the CC90 here. And I feel like these will be emollient enough that they won't dry up my lips because it doesn't feel particularly dry on the skin. But only time will tell. Tiny bit of the lighter one there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I really love that tone. I just realized I totally forgot to use the white one as a highlight, but oh well. Um, so now all I need to do is mascara and eyebrows. I'll be right back. And here it is with the eyes, or the lashes and the eyebrows done. Um, this actually was an accident. My mascara smudged and I decided to just go with it because I was trying to wipe it off and then it was um, making a mess. So I decided to kind of play up on the 
geometric patterns of the palette and do something a little bit uh, artsy and graphic so that's what that is it's just an accident a happy accident i kind of like how it looks um yes let's zoom out first of all so you don't have to see me up so close okay that's better yeah i am really impressed with this so far like i said i will um because i want to have this up today rather than film tonight and show you how it lasted i'll just let you know in the information below this is just meant to be kind of an introduction to it anyhow um but i really love the tones i love how they wear i love how they apply i'm a big fan of these um palettes so far, uh, like I said, I've already used the contour, but the rest, like the concealer, that was more or less the first impressions. Um, I had used these shades before. So that's it guys. If you want any information, there should be more down below in the information bar or information below the um, video. And um, yeah, leave any questions for me in the comments and I will try to get back to you if I can with the correct information. So that's it for now guys. I'll see you all next week for my next video. Until then, take care. Salam.